In this video, I'll be talking about setting up the support desk options. The first thing you need to do is log into the dashboard of your WordPress website. Go to the left navigation bar. Click Insta Member. And then click on the support desk tab. This is one of the powerful features of Instamember where a support desk is integrated in the membership configuration without the hassle of setting it up. It automatically generates a support department for every product you have added to your website. Apart from that, it gives you the option to provide a specific support area for affiliates and other security related options. Enable built-in support desk. This by default is turned on and it automatically creates a support department for each of the products that you add to your website. Your support desk URL. This URL is automatically generated for you once you set up the membership handler page in the setup slash configuration option. You have an option of editing this slug once you've put in the information that you'd like, you click Save and you're all set. The second button is to simply copy your URL. Support Desk Name. This is the field where you'll be providing the name of your support desk. Welcome Text. This text area is where you will be placing a welcome statement, message, or instructions on how to use your support area. Enable General Department. This is a switch that is set to on by default. Setting it on will add a general department for general inquiries that may be related to the product. Otherwise, you may click this switch off if you prefer. Enable Affiliates Department. This switch by default is also turned on. Once it's switched on, it will create a department that handles any affiliate related concerns. You have the option of turning this switch off if you don't want to deal with that. Enable Attachment. You can choose whether you want to allow or disallow your visitors or members to add an attachment when they submit a support ticket. If you don't want them to be able to add attachments, you simply switch this to off. Enable Private Attachment. This option by default is also on. This means that only logged in members can exclusively attach files on the support tickets that they submit. Maximum Attachment Count. This input field accepts numerical values that correspond to the maximum allowable attachments per ticket submitted. For example, because this is set to 3, that means that your visitors or members can only attach 3 items or 3 files per ticket submission. Maximum File Size Per Attachment. This field accepts a numerical value and it corresponds to the maximum allowable file size for every ticket submitted. Enable reCAPTCHA. This option is only available if you have successfully set up the reCAPTCHA in the integration option page. When enabled, this option will require non-members to successfully pass a CAPTCHA challenge in order to submit a ticket. By default, this switch is turned off. Enable private submissions. If this switch is turned on, then only members of the site are allowed to submit support tickets. By default, this option is turned off. It's important to remember that if this option is enabled or turned on, then only members will be allowed to submit support tickets. Knowledge Base Category You can turn any post into a Knowledge Base article. Simply choose a category and all of your posts under that category will be used by Instamember as your Knowledge Base. You can create subcategories under this category to serve as specific knowledge bases for each of your products. And it has a drop down menu so that you can select which category you want to use as your knowledge base. Notify Submitter on Reply. This option when turned on will send or notify your support ticket submitter through email if the reply has been made. By default, this is turned off. Notify Admin on New Ticket. This option, when turned on, will enable the system to send you a message once a new ticket is submitted. By default, this option is also turned off. If you want to be notified every time a new support ticket is submitted, this must be turned on. 
Notify admin on reply. This option when turned on will enable the system to send you a message once a ticket has been replied to by the submitted. By default, this option is turned off. If this option is turned on, you will be notified every time a member or a visitor submits a reply. Once all of your options have been updated, simply click Update Settings and you're good to go. This concludes setting up your support desk options.